the penguin continues. Doesn't it though? Oh my goodness. In what has got to be one of my most pleasant surprises on television, other than Rings of Power season two, because season one was crap. It, it's got to be Penguin. The first two episodes have completely blown me away. And last night was episode three. And it starts... I, I'm just going to talk kind of in detail just about the first couple of minutes of the episode. I'm not going to go into what happens later. But it starts with, oh, now we're getting to meet Victor's family and we're, we're seeing a bit of his life aside from Oz. Right. Like, what's his life like when he's not hanging out with Oz? And then the dialogue started to make me realize, oh, wait a minute, this this might be a flashback. Yeah. It felt a little bit beyond the Spider-Verse because I'm like, wait a minute, yes. is this not the same world? <laughs> What's going on here? By the way, would this kid be a good play, a good kid to play a live action Miles Morales or what? Oh, you know what? Yes. Tell get right? <laughs> yes. Tell me you don't see at least the anime. Does not he not look like he's the animated Miles Morales from uh, Across the Spider-Verse? Just because the way he dresses, it's hard to tell about his physique, but um, I was gonna say he just needs to like bulk up, but do you know in the last episode when he went running from that car? I'm oh, like right. dude, the camera couldn't even keep up with the rack focus. You're just <laughs> he's, like <laughs> he's just gone. I, yeah. I I love this kid. Um anyway, one of our viewers reminded me that he was in um he was the lead guy in Runaways. Mm. And like that's where I knew him from. I loved him in Runaways. Anyway. So then I I'm starting to clue in maybe this is a flashback. And then the explosions go off. In the movie, The Batman, they do a pretty good job of communicating to the audience, Gotham just suffered a tragedy, mm -hmm. right? With Riddler blowing up the dams and blowing up, you know, the, the things holding the water back and flooding the city. You know, oh, this is disastrous for this city. What they just did with, with in the Penguin show, though, brought it home to another level that I don't think the movie was able to do. I agree. By by showing us his family, mm -hmm. his sister, his mom and his dad, and then in horror, like seeing those explosions going. Because in, in the Batman, when the explosions go off, it's from a bird's eye view. Right. It's from the camera's point of view. It's, it's, it's zoomed out, seeing the city and the explosion going off. Here we got to viscerally feel it from Victor's perspective. And when that when the when the structure breaks and the water comes flooding in, my first thought is, oh, his family's gonna be stranded because because you know they're on a higher level. And but then you see the water come in. See, that's what got me. Oh man. Because when we watched it in the in the movie, like you get it, uh the it, the water's coming in, but it always looked like it was just coming over this the surface and just rushing. So it was like gonna fill up, but slowly, like ankle high water. And right? then it's and then and then it started to get bigger. Like, but I didn't think it was like knock out a freeway, come in like a massive wave in certain areas that would have been lower. Yeah, and in, and wipe out his family's apartment. Like would, you just saw it slam, and, and then I you realize, was, like, oh my god, the Riddler is evil, like pure evil. Yeah, like what what they did was was crazy, and like that's why even Oz and the Criminal Underworld says what that madman did. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I think it was a great choice. I think a lesser storyteller would have cut to back inside the apartment and shown the horror on the family's faces. I think it was more horrifying not doing that. You saw from his perspective. You saw from his perspective the way he was experiencing it. Yeah. And at that moment, like it changed my perception of the character about how he acts and carries himself. Like this dude has just suffered <laughs> an incredible tragedy. And if he is... And there's conflicting ideas out there. If he's Victor Zaz, if he goes on to become Victor Zaz, I think this context changes the way I look at that and what he could become. Because remember, one of my favorite themes in movies and storytelling is never underestimate what anger and pain can do to somebody, even the best of people. Never underestimate with ang what anger and pain can do, even to the best of people. And again, I don't know that he's going to be Victor Zaz. I mean, maybe yeah. he will, maybe he won't. But it, I, I mean, it just made me so much more connected to this character. Yeah, I, I actually wouldn't be surprised if he 
has a uh, he turns uh, like face. He turns good because he witnessed this traumatic experience of people, get, innocent people getting wiped out. Right now, he's just with Penguin dealing with you know the family, right? Right. This thing of theirs. If he sees Penguin get to the point where we know Penguin will be hurting innocents, this may be a turn for him. You know, maybe, what I mean? but like he's yet to actually kill someone. He's just yeah. facilitating. But well. That's right? not necessarily true by the end of the episode. Okay. But I'm saying like, like, because in this episode, he had his come to Jesus moment. All right. Right. Do I go this way or this way? And he made a choice that didn't instantly complete. Like when Anakin had his come to Jesus moment with, you know, either help Mace or help the, or don't help Mace and, and side with the emperor. He, the ridiculous thing about that scene is that he went from pure good guy who's a little, <laughs> you know, conflicted right. to instantly I'll go kill all the children for you, master. <laughs> like, like, just like that, right? Yeah. It was an instant turn. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Miracle Made. Guys, it's hot outside, and your nighttime bedroom temperature has a huge impact on your sleep quality. So if you wake up too hot or too cold, I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Miracle Made sheets are inspired by NASA and use silver-infused fabrics that are temperature-regulating so you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. There are just so many things that make these sheets so fantastic. We already mentioned the self-cooling properties for better quality sleep, but they're also self-cleaning. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. So go to trymiracle.com slash campia. That's T-R-Y-M-I-R-A-C-L-E.com slash campia to try Miracle Made sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo code CAMPIA at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. So upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash CAMPIA and use the code CAMPIA to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40% off. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash campia to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. So that doesn't happen to Victor here, but he makes the choice that I think will could possibly lead him somewhere. Anyway, the uh, again, Miliotti, chef's kiss, brilliant. Um, the guy who played the leader of one of the triads, if, for those of you who didn't watch the Tick series. Mm. He's the guy who played Arthur's dad, his adopted, well, not his adopted, his stepdad. And I loved him in that. So it's pretty cool seeing him play gangster in this one. Again, this show just continues to shake me. I, I love the, the character depth of all these characters. They've given Oz so much depth. They've given more layers now to Victor. Uh, Miliati's character, Sophia, learning more and more and more and more layers and dimensions to her. And I am loving this show so much. You know, I'm ready to say this about it, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. It's not just a great comic book television show. I don't even think of it as a comic book it show. It is a great television show. Yeah. It's not a great comic book television show. It is a great television show. Mm -hmm. And I cannot wait to see how the ratings are going on it because I'm guessing they go up. But, uh, but we will see what they do. Anyway, guys, question is for you. Did you have a chance to watch the new episode of Penguin? If so, were you as completely blown away by it as I was? Are you digging this Victor character? Maybe you think he's annoying. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.